A recent survey suggests that 70% of European organizations expect to adopt some form of sovereign cloud in order to ensure compliance with European regulations such as the GDPR. But what exactly is sovereign cloud? Well, that's not always clear because different people use the term in different ways. When I talk about sovereign cloud, I usually point out three things. First, some people use the term sovereign cloud in a broad sense to refer to a service that gives the customer a high degree of control over their data. And that includes control over where their data are stored, how they're secured, and who can access them. Second, others use the term more narrowly to focus on the specific risk of foreign government access to cloud data. In this respect, the key question is, can a foreign government order your cloud provider to hand over your data without telling you? Third, we need to distinguish data access from data location or the physical location where your data are stored. For example, you might use a US or a Chinese cloud service provider that will store your data at data centers in Europe. However, that foreign service provider is still subject to foreign jurisdiction and so potentially subject to foreign government control. By contrast, a European cloud service provider is more likely to be effectively immune to foreign jurisdiction. In short, a sovereign cloud service is one that features a high degree of customer control and that reduces the risk of foreign government access through measures that go beyond mere data location. For a deep dive into the topic of sovereign cloud, check out the report which I prepared for Broadcom.